Welcome back to another episode of Caveman Mods. This will be my second video of the day. You hear my little one over there in the background. Uh, so it's today, you know, we're still messing with these door panels. Uh, I'm going to try to show you a little... Oh, get my finger off from over there, the lens right there. But I'm going to show you what we've done with these door panels here. And uh, show you how we're making it work. How it's going to function when it's all said and done. And... Let you know all the troubles I've had to go through so far trying to get this where it's at. So, uh, sorry for the close-up on my neck, but that's what we're going to get into today. Do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And uh, without further ado, let's get into it. So there we go. That's the door panel right there. I got it on the truck, you know. I didn't really need to show you guys the process of cutting it all out, but where I started here, I'll show you. That's too... This right here is too small. Oh, I'll zoomed in a little bit. This part right here, this old school door panel, it was too small anyways. I mean, it was on there, but it was only to the point where it, uh, it barely covered the edges. So, went through some old cardboard I had here and cut out a template of the size I actually wanted it to be. Then I matched it up on that diamond plate. I got it all cut out to where it's right here flush with the edge all the way around. Nice flush cut. Looking good. Got all my rib nuts put in the back back here. I don't know if you can see them. Let's see if I can get you in there. But you see my rib nuts up there. There, you can get a better look on this side. All the rib nuts in there. Anyways, I got all the holes drilled. All the way across where this is going to be bolted up cut all this out uh, this wasn't the greatest job you know i got a little gap in top and bottom and my corners wasn't exactly the same curvature as, as these corners but close enough uh, i gotta get two more screws in here i'm gonna pull this back out and paint it debating on painting this as well since i'm already here i think it'll probably look a little bit better that kind of looks like crap to be honest with you but uh Put that back over there. I don't need it anymore. These are what we did away with. Not using those any, anymore. No need. This is going to be solid enough. Drill two holes up here. Put rib nuts up there. Using the old factory holes here. Over here. Door handle, you just measure it all up and cut it out the best you can. And, uh, of course, I'm gonna sound it in the back of this, so you're not gonna get any of this vibration between this and this piece right here. Let me get my hand down here. I'm trying to. Yeah. Let me get this back up here, and I'll get right back to you. All right, so I got it up there. I had to get this latch bar whatever back on here i gotta put a cotter pin down in there i don't know if you can see it where my finger's at uh, need to put a cotter pin in there but uh hold on a second i'll get right back to you okay sorry back at it talking to my wife here but i gotta put two more bolt holes in it bolt this piece to this piece there's like two bolt holes that go right here i'll be able to match those up using this put this over that that's the template to where so all i gotta do is mount all those or you know those holes squared up there there so on and so forth and that'll put me where I need to put my holes. It should be there and there for those two, which are down towards the bottom. Those ones are going to be fun to get in. And of course, on this, you got those two and those two. I'm trying to do is match that up. Get close over here. That notch right there. It's right over that. Sorry, I'm eating the pork chop at the same time. Get it close. 
and then mark out your little spots. You got a little center punch. You know, punch them so, you, so your drill bit doesn't lock on you. There's two holes there. And put your bolts and you're good to go. This will all be solid. This, this piece right here. Armrest. Uh, I think I already told you in another video, but had that black uh the black vinyl stuff all over it. Peeled all that off, put my new armrests on. This goes right back on, you know, tucks up in here. The way I have to do it is I have to tighten these two in the middle first. Then go out and put this on. And then go over here and start from the top. Work my way down because as you do that, it kind of stretches it a little bit. It don't stretch it, it just flattens it out. And when you're sitting here trying to drill all these holes, and if it's not flattened out correctly, then your holes aren't going to match up once you get the screws in from the top down, if that makes sense. You got to start from the bottom up. It's going to leave a wrinkle somewhere here in the center. It'll show really bad between some of the bolt holes if there is a wrinkle in it. So you don't want that. So make sure you work from the top down and stretch it. You know, you just lay it flat in one direction. Don't try to bring it in towards the center, if that makes sense. Uh, like I said, this is going to come off. I'm going to paint this. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, I've still yet to do that door over there. We'll get to that, but once I get this one finished, I'll be on to that one. This one's basically finished. I just got those two holes. Take this off and paint it. And that'll be the door panel for this one. So, if you would... For the time being, uh, like, share, subscribe, comment, you know, um, stick around. I'm going to try to get some more videos out here soon enough. I know this is a little short video. Wasn't too, too serious, too in depth on, on detail, but you no, know, I can show you what I've been doing and you guys can pretty much get the picture of how to do it. It's not that bad. It's not, not hard. Uh, sorry, a little pork chop in my teeth. But yeah, it's not that big a deal. It's not too hard. Um, you know, if you're going to paint some stuff, you should, you know, like this right here, you should know how to paint that. That ain't that hard. You want to get in there and clean up all this rust. It's going to be showing. And, oh, let me get back over there. All this rust, like up here in this corner. Get all that cleaned up. And you'll be just fine. Like I said, that, you got to go back where it needs to go. Screw it all together. I'll be pretty much done with that door panel. Uh, like I said, I need the sound dead in the back of it. I'll get all that done. I'm painting this right here. I sound dead in the back of it, but I gotta get these other two bolt holes done up real quick. So I'll get that done and I'll be right back with it. Alright, back again. A little bit later. Uh, I got the rest of everything finished up on this here door panel. A uh, couple other things I'm gonna kinda you know finish out, but nothing really serious. I got like three or four more uh, bolts I gotta get. But for the most part, it's finished up. So let me get you flipped around here and you can check it out. I'll step back. There you go. There's my door panel. That's what it's going to look like from now on. Uh, pretty much finished. That's the color of the dash is going to be. Pretty good looking color. I do say so myself. Had a little bit of that uh, sound in there. I put on the back of it, come out up there, and for some reason the paint was a little wet still, but. So yeah, I put the sound editor on the whole back of this door. Solid. I got that mounted up there. These two bolt holes go to my, uh, uh, that, what you call it, I put down in there. Ah, uh, crap, can't think of it right now. Brain fart, been a long day. Uh, rib nut, put rib nuts, those two. These go straight into the frame. Same on that side. I'm gonna swap those out for Allen heads just like these. Got Allen heads all the way around. I said I got one, two, three, four more bolts to get. Oh, five. Plus those four up there. Uh, I could change these to where they'll be the same. I, I may keep them these ones right here, but I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, that's what it looks like. Let me pop up in here and shut the door. I forget the mess, but. Show you what it sounds like. But there it is with the door shut. That's what it's going to look like. 
photo. So anyways, you know, not the best lighting in here right now. It's kind of dark, but that's my door panel. That's what it's going to look like, guys. Of course, my dash will be blue. This door panel over here will look the same. I'm going to take this back off so I can copy it for the other side over there so they're identical. And I kind of wish that that right there was blue, but whatever. We'll leave it that color. It gives it a little bit of a different look, I guess. But all the wood's going to be stained blue. Dash is going to be that color blue. Like I said, it's not the best lighting wise in here right now, so let's go ahead and hop out of here. But yeah, that's it. Custom diamond plate door panels. Uh, if you guys want some of these and think I should start manufacturing them, let me know. I don't think I'm going to, but uh, if I do, they're a bit of a pain. It'd be a few hundred bucks for a set, and don't take me for my word on that, but they're nice. If I did do them, you know, you'd get them already uh, sound deadened, everything ready to go. I'll be pre drilled. Uh, granted, you'll have to take this piece apart. That this goes to, you'll have to do a little bit of modification to make it work. So if you're interested in it, let me know if you got the uh, know how to change some stuff up. But. Alright guys, so this is the conclusion of my video yesterday. I never got to film the outro. So in a nutshell, that's my door panels. Uh, I like them. Comment below. Let me know what you think. Uh, you think I think I could have done anything different. You think they're hideous. Whatever you think, let me know. Do me a favor, you know, like, share, subscribe, comment, uh, stick around, there's going to be a lot more to come, I'm going to do what I can to try to get, me, do what I can to try to get those, uh, stacks worked out, get them going on here in the next couple of weeks, um, I need to get my dash painted, a couple other things, I need to wrap up on the interior, got a little bit more wiring for the rest of my car audio, and,